Got them all, boys! Nice bull right there. Hey, nothing like that. Right off the bat, we got a double on. Nice fish right here. Oh, another dolphin. Got them all, boys! We're in Mahi mayhem all day. All day. This has been one of those days that you would just have to be here to, to understand. It's just for real. This is crazy. Well, good morning, happy people. Look who I got. I got my little buddy Carson and his friend Kyle. They play baseball together. But uh, today, we're just gonna call him Captain Carson. <laughs> we're on their new boat. What do you got here? A 456 Grady White. Oh my goodness, this thing is huge. But we've already got live bait. Our friend Tommy, he showed up, brought us live bait, and it's breaking across the inlet, which means I'm probably going to be running the boat out the <laughs> And we're just going to run out and fish. The last 10 days, it has been really windy. Heavy, heavy winds. Super duper rough. Well, today's the first day, and we're going to get after it. Dead low tide with an outgoing tide in Jupiter Inlet. It's going to be a little sloppy, but we're going to get it done. Typically on a day like today, when no one's fished for a week or two, the best way to find the fish is to troll. And this is a, a planer rig. And like, I cannot tell you how many fish we catch on a planer. See that hook? It's got a little pin rig right there. That pin is a critical part of this. Make your little hole. Take your hook, you make a hole in it. Then put your pin right up through there. That's gonna hold it in place. Your pin is made out of a metal called Monel. Now, see how that works? It sits just like that. And what I do is I just hold the strip, pull it tight, and it's gonna show you where the hook wants to go, about right there. Now it's gonna sit in there just like that. And now this is gonna create a perfect bait. See how pretty that is? That's gonna pull through the water just like that. That strip is gonna add a bunch of little flicker, a little kick. The planer is gonna go right there and right here, just like that. Now, this is going to run down. This is gonna run down deep. When the fish eats it, it's gonna pull it and that's called tripping the planer. Now the planer is engaged. Clicker's on. If you see this rod go bop, bop, and bounce and the drag pull, that means you've got a fish. You're gonna wind it up and then you can take the planer off very easily and fight your fish. Now we're gonna put out the outriggers and put out our surface baits. Now this is just a naked valley who we're gonna put up on the top and we want this bait to skip along. Now start heading due south if you can. You got a fish right there. Way to be on it, way to be on it. Right here, right here, buddy. Oh, got him. Oh, oh, boy, here we go. Got him. There we go. Hey, nothing like that. Right off the bat, we got a double on. Oh, big dolphin. Here we go. Nice fish right here. Just ate this. Dude, I just got hammered by something really nice. That might be a hoop. Oh. Pull it off. Oh, man. We got a king for the Traeger, baby. So now if you notice, we're continuing to keep the boat moving forward, just like this. As we do that, the head of that dolphin, we're gonna wedge him right to us. Now he's only 10 years old, he's small, and that's a really big rod for him. So, we're not doing anything too jerky, just here, just slowly, slowly. See how I'm bringing that fish to me right here? Got 
Nice fish. Nice one. Nice yeah. Pretty work, guys. Right. Nice one. Come here, buddy. Give me some skin. What you think about that? Nice Look at that arm. That arm's tired, son. That's awesome. This is what it's all about, man. Coming out here, having fun. This is a really big rod for him to hold up. So he's just sitting there cranking, but you did a great job. You kept that line tight, got him in the box. There you go, you got him. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Come on, who's up? Come on, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. He's doing great. Okay, so Kyle, you're going to move to your right. Move to your right. Keep him out of the motor. There you go. Keep him out of the motor. There you go. There you go. There you go. Keep bringing him to you. Oh, One motion, up and over. Up and over. So we just caught our second dolphin. It's been pretty red hot, but what we did was we stopped. Now we're slow trolling, which means the current is heading north. We're heading south at a very slow rate of speed. Now, as that current goes by the boat, we put our live baits out and hopefully either a sailfish, dolphin, wahoo, Something like that comes up and blasts it. As soon as we get a bait out there, whammy. Back up. Another little my my. All you do is get that fish. We call these flippers. You get them close, grab them right here, and then just in the boat. Just like that. Uh -oh. Look at the shark. Look at the shark coming in. Okay, we're gonna have to catch them really fast. Look at the shark right here on the surface. Coming right in. Come on, come on. Oh, sharks are chasing us. Uh, You're trying to just wedge that fish towards the boat. Get a crank. Nice, Good nice. job. In the boat, in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> nice. nice stick, buddy. Pretty work, pretty work. Look at that fish. Nice, nice one. Nice pull right there. Give it to him. Come tight. Got him. Nice fish right here. Another dolphin. Oh. Got him all, got him all. Got him all, boys. Oh, keep coming, keep coming. There we go. Oh, little macaroni. In the boat, in the boat. Nice little peanut. Got him all. Now Lake has a nice one. Lake has a big one. Hey, give me some skin, bro. How much fun is this? This is what's going on normally. That's Austin. He's always doing something. He's got the pole with the GoPro on it. Always trying to get unique angles. Lake is fighting the fish. Carson's fighting, Carson's the, fish. fighting the fish. Bobo's running the boat. We just got that fish angling right here. Austin's getting beautiful underwater shots. Fish all lit up. Dark green, blue. Yeah. There you go. We having a fun or what? Heck yeah. In the box! Look at that. Nice, good. Pretty work, guys. Pretty work. We are eating good tonight. Nice. Good job, buddy. Look at this. More fish going on over here. Oh! Oh! Throwing that bait right back at me. Oh! I don't know if I'm in right. Hey, my hey! It's a nice little dolphin. This one we're gonna let go. He's a little small, all right, guys? <laughs> Off he goes, man. All right, beautiful, guys. Yeah! What's up, yeah. Alex? Dude, pretty nice work. Job. Pretty work, pretty pretty Ross. Good. That's a nice one. Hold on, hold on. No, this Austin gets this. He hooked it while filming. This is no joke. Austin hooked the fish while filming. He came up right there and ate it. Now we got us a big dolphin on. We're in Mahi mayhem all day. All day. I was minding my business, trying to drink lemonade, and then, like, nobody's gonna take it, all right. This has been one of those days that you would just have to be here to, to understand. It's just for real. This is crazy. Nice. 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 Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Go team. That's a big dolphin. Great job there, Bob. Great job driving on the fish. Thank you, buddy. Woo -hoo. There you go, That's guys. That's the 20 pounder we're looking for. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful man. Sails up. Woo. 
Big bull. Over the rail. In the pail. That's a big dolphin. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish my lemonade. <laughs> This is not the biggest one of the day, but it's the one I'm gonna show you how to clean it. That's a good sized fish, about a 20 pound Mai Mai. That fish is probably about nine months to one year old. And if I was sword fishing, what I'll typically do is I'll come in here like this and I'll cut all the way down just, just like that. And I can make a swordfish bait out of that belly. Once I did that, then that's going to expose this little area right here. Just take that knife and we're going to run it right down the inside of his back. Just like that. Now we'll flip him around. Come right on in here. Take that tip of that knife and I like to start at the bottom and work my way right up to the top. Sometimes that fin will give you a little bit of a fit there. This is a bull, this is a male. So he's got meat all the way up into his head. Make sure that knife lays right along the backbone. I actually just felt it cut through, so. Go up and over that backbone gently, just like that, and then we'll just pick it up. Good. There we go. Perfect Mai Mai Filet. Now you can pull this. So you can take this skin and pull it off. But I like to cut it off. It seems that you leave the little membrane on the fish and you're just pulling the skin and wiggling the knife. You're left with that. That's a perfect piece of meat. Now we'll take your knife and angle it right down. Just like that. Just like that. I normally will wiggle my fingers. Just like that. That is all just dark bloodline. Take that there. You can see it's got a little bit of rib bone in it here. If your nice if your knife is nice and sharp, just sort of let your knife run right down the inside of that fish. Now you've got yourself boneless, skinless. My my filet. You know what we're gonna do with this? We're gonna go out to the ranch and we're gonna cook it. How you like that? See you there. Guess what? We're not on the boat anymore, but we are at the ranch. See this? That's called a package of love. That is asparagus. We're gonna throw it right in there. These are corn on the cob. We've sprinkled a little bit of uh, salt and pepper on them. We got some sweet cream butter. You can put them in there, just like that. Now this piece of fish, it's a little bit thicker. So what I want to do here is just cut in. There you go. Now that's a beautiful piece of fish. Okay, here we go. Take that fish. Yeah, you want to hear that sizzle, just like that. This is our garlic butter, and I want to brush that on there. Nice, fresh garlic butter. I'm telling y'all right now, that smells amazing. Now, that fish is not gonna take long to cook. Put a piece of corn right off the grill. Take yourself some asparagus, just like that. Then, get yourself a nice, that piece of fish like that then take yourself some of your garlic butter rub it on your fish and on your asparagus that is a meal out here at camp life is good and here's to the greatest ship in the entire world friendship
Yes. You guys, thank you so much for enjoying dinner with us tonight. Thank God for everything that we've got in this world. Thank God for wonderful friends like y'all. And uh, this is what we're all about, man. I got a call last minute. Hey, let's go out to the ranch and eat dinner. I'm like, let's do it. And so this is the way we roll. Just throw it together and go. There's something special about going out with great friends and catching amazing fish. I've had one of the most amazing days I've had many, many years today. And I want to thank you for making it possible. We've got so many amazing fans from all over the world that watch our videos, comment, subscribe, like, tell their friends about it. And you are the support. You're the wind beneath our wings that keep us rolling and telling these stories. And uh, I appreciate you. But that's all I got for today, y'all. Here, here. Keep Take smiling. Care. That's right. Take care. God bless. And we about to go for a buggy ride. See you.